We're Sulam Fabricating, located in Rock Valley, Iowa. We fabricate parts for multiple customers all over the United States. So we consider automation throughout uh, the factory and welding has become one of our bottlenecks. It's hard to hire welders in our area. It always seems like we're short a hand welder. So the traditional welding robot requires today a lot of fixturing, programming, fencing and safeguarding. We wanted to get our welders to spend more time fabricating and putting parts together versus laying a bead. And we wanted this robot to mimic what a hand welder was capable of doing. We already have a UR robot that we use for some other applications. And the first thought was, can we stick a welding arm on the end of our UR robot and make it weld? I came across BotX. And what I instantly liked was its mobility, its ease of use, and its programming features. Air gas and hybotics showed up to do the install, which didn't take very long. And we were pretty ecstatic that we were creating production parts within half a day already. When we look at some of the traditional robots, the costs kind of just keep creeping up, right? Easily $100,000 to start by the time. And you might even end up at two to 300,000. When we were looking at the BotX, it didn't take long to realize how simple it was and it just worked. We were able to lease the machine so for a very low upfront cost, I could let my hand welders and my owners see it with a very low risk. And it was within a month and we already bought the machine. The fact that the robot was under the price of traditional robots by a lot, and it's already within a half day producing production parts, it didn't even need a traditional ROI. What we were able to do now is take that knowledge of a welder and let him move the robot as if he was just doing it by hand and creating that program on the fly. And it was something we had always hoped for and we found the solution. We specifically chose the UR10E because it had the best balance of reach and mobility and portability. They have force torque sensing built into the six axes which we use for various features in our robot. UR is constantly updating their product and they constantly roll that out to their users. That's vitally important to us as an example. Um, they, they rolled out path offset and we were able to use that to develop a much higher quality weaving um, feature um, that our end customers were looking for. Robotic has taught us how to do some more complex welds that we weren't even doing on our traditional robot. Having used the UR robot, we're able to use the weaving feature and take away a double or triple pass. So what might have been a three minute weld is cut down to maybe a minute and a half. It also takes away from consumables since we're not laying all that extra gas and bead. I was really excited to cut my time in half, actually being able to move it by hand like that, being able to get it to point A to point B in a fraction of the time. We can use our hand fixtures, which cuts costs in half. We can get a new part in today and we can put it on that robot without a fixture and have it programmed that day. It can save up to a week. I feel a lot more like a welder. It was awesome. What I would say made me most excited was okay, now I can actually program a ro robot myself. I can really make welds look nice and not have to spend a year in the classroom l learning it. I can just grab the torch and say, hey, this is right where I want it. This is, feels good, comfortable when I hand weld this and it comes out good. And so then I can program that. And if you want a linear or radial weld, a joint or a butt weld, and it's very clear. We have not had any downtime with the BotX. The UR robot has its own little weld booth cell today where it lives. However, we do move it around quite a bit. We're also trying to put more on the robot to increase cycle time. We bought our first universal robot. We wanted to test it in stamping. The robot stamps parts all day long. It just puts the part in, actuates the machine to stamp it and palletizes the part. We use the pelletizing wizard on the load side of the robot. Very easy to understand. Because we're a high mix, low volume shop, it's often very different number of pellets and parts. The beautiful thing is, is once it's programmed, it's done. The other side of the shop has the traditional CNC machines, mills and lays, and we're looking to bring our stamping robot over there to do some machine tending and adding more to that fleet as well.